Now on day five, I had the biggest no-no. I think so the perfect foundation could be a game changer, right? So I put the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Primer and Foundation to the test for a full seven days. From different applications to wear time, I'm giving you my honest thoughts, no filters, just facts. Is it really worth the hype? Well, let's find so out. The day that this was released, I went ahead and purchased the Easy Blur Primer the foundation, the Easy Bake Setting Powder. And since I went ahead and got the set together, it came with the brush, the application brush. Day one of application, I was wild. Primer gave you such a smooth, like blurring effect. I love how it was cooling and it was very much so hydrating. Now I've tried other blurring primers, but none of them feel the way that this feels. The first day I applied the primer, foundation, and setter powder, initial first impression, I really liked it. I did kind of feel like the setting powder was a little bit too dry for me because I do have normal to dry skin, but I like more of a natural, radiant, luminous feel when it comes to my foundation. I do not like matte foundations because I like the initial application of a, of a matte foundation. However, mattifying products usually absorbs the oils throughout the day. I don't produce enough oils through the day for it to absorb, so then it tends to absorb too much and it looks very much so powdery and drying on me and I don't like that look. And I'm a type of person that once I do my makeup, I don't look at myself in the mirror to like make sure nothing move or anything like that. I expect it to last and be there all day. If something looking crazy, I wouldn't know unless somebody tell me like, you know, Toya, your lashes falling off or something like that. The only thing I really touch up is like my lips. I'm not really looking at my complete face because I expect it to look the way it look when I finish doing my makeup. When I got home and got ready to wash my face, I looked at myself and I was like, Whoa. And it's not in a good way. Not in a good way. It my my face was so dry. I looked so like when your foundation is dry on your skin, it makes you look old. <laughs> it makes you look old. It makes you look like 20 years old and older than what you really are. And I'm like, whoa. I knew it was because of the setting powder. I knew it. as soon as I put the setting powder on in my mind, I was like, okay, this is going to be drying, but let's see, let's see, because everything else is very much so like a radiant feel. Now that I know it's most likely the setting powder, let me try other ways. So on day two, I did everything step by step, but instead of using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder, I used my tried and true favorite setting powder which is the Hourglass Translucent Veil. When I used the Translucent Veil, I felt like it looks beautiful. It still had the blurring effect. It wasn't as drying as it was with the Easy, uh, Easy Bake Powder. It looked really good after, after the initial application. Like I was, I was pleased with the way it looked. It still gave me that filter look. It still gave me that blurred out look. I feel like it's just that at the end of the day, it didn't hold very well. I don't know if it was a fluke. I don't know if it would have been different if I would have used the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. But that day, I it was one of those days where you know you have a really good laugh. And sometimes when you laugh, you might tear, cry a little bit. But I had one of those type laughs. I didn't think of it, think anything of it until I got home and I looked at myself in the mirror and I could see the tear strips, drips down my face. And I was like, oh, okay. That, I'm not sure if it was because of the setting powder. Maybe the setting powder wasn't strong enough for the makeup. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't want to blame that on anything, but that was my day two. So after day two, I decided to go back to using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. And in my mind, I was like, okay, let me make a little bit of adjustments to my prep. So I added additional moisturizers before I applied the primer and the foundation and the setting powder before I proceeded with the steps to complete the look. And then I also use different setting sprays just to see if I got a different turnout at the end of the day. Now, 
it took me a lot of trials to figure out the perfect combination, especially if you have normal to dry skin. I found, I believe I found the perfect combination to use with all three of these. I figured this out on day six. Now on day five, I had the biggest no-no. So I wanted to see what it was gonna be like if I didn't use any setting powder. That didn't work out too well, okay? I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna cut that real short. Day five, I put it on without any setting powder because I really love the way it looked. Child, that stuff was slipping and sliding all over my face. All over my face. On day six, I went back to the original setup with all three. But the only thing I did differently was use a particular setting spray. But the way I use the setting spray is key. So hear me out. So for day six and day seven, this is exactly what I did for those two days. And I did it today for this look. And I've had this makeup on since 3.59. It was almost four o'clock. And right now it is 2.47 a.m. So I did my makeup at 3.59 p.m. And now it is 2.47 a.m. So let me tell you what I did. I didn't really do anything different outside of my skincare routine. I just did my regular skincare routine and then I applied the Easy Blur Primer. After I applied the primer, I went ahead and applied the Easy Blur Natural Airbrush Foundation. So you do these just as normal, just the way that Huda mentioned in her video. You just apply these two. I went ahead and did my cream bronzer, my cream blush. I did my um, under eye corrector with the concealer. I went ahead and did all of that. Once I did that, everything is burned out. I went ahead and set my face with the Juvia's Place ready set and seal setting spray now it took me a minute to think of using this because this setting spray is very tacky it's dewy and tacky and i don't really like using this setting spray as a last spray for my face because it do have like a tacky feel to it but hear me out i sprayed this right after step one and two so any type of setting spray that is hydrating dewy and a little a little tacky do it let it sit oops let it sit just for a little bit just a little bit and then you go in and you apply your setting powder the easy bake setting powder what i use is a piece of puff to apply the setting powder i just put most of it right here under my eye to kind of set the under eye because i feel like that's where you have a lot of creasing so you want to set the under eye and then i took a large fluffy brush and just took a little amount just a little bit not a lot dust a lot of that off of the brush and I just pressed whatever setting powder that is from on the brush onto my skin once everything is set take your brush the large brush that you were using before dust everything off and then set it one more time with the setting spray you may feel a little tacky afterwards but it will dry down if you don't feel like it's drying down fast enough for you i would take the one size until done setting spray this is a mattifying setting spray and because it's mattifying it will kind of like absorb any of that extra tackiness from this but just do a little light spray and you're good to go oh my goodness game changer i'm telling you now that we have that out the way of how to apply it if you have normal to dry skin do those steps and come back and let me know what you think about it okay now my final takeaway about this collection this combination after i figured out how to make it work for me collection is perfect for like an everyday makeup look okay so after the first day of wearing this set i completely forgot that i had foundation on my face it is so lightweight like even now the only reason why i know i have foundation on my face is the simple fact that i knew that i was recording a video 
And not only that, because I put it on earlier, but honestly, it do not feel like I have anything on my face. So every other foundation that I've used, even my favorite, my tried and true Makeup Forever HD Ultra Skin Foundations, even those feel like you have makeup on. And most foundations feel like you have makeup on, but this, it is so lightweight. You do not feel it. So if you're a beginner or you somebody that's like, I don't wear makeup because I don't like that it feels like I have makeup on. This is it. And I just cracked the code for you so it could work for any skin type. I know this is probably better for people who have normal to oily skin. But if you have normal to dry skin like I do, I cracked the code for you. Test it out. Do it. You're going to like it. As of right now, I'm going to continue to use this setting powder. I do feel like you can opt out and use different setting powders. If you don't like mattifying setting powders, the powders that I'm going to recommend to you are, do have the same blurring effect. So if you're looking for something that is more radiant, I will go with the Bare Mineral Mineral Veil. Now, if you're looking for something that's more of a natural setting, I have two for you, which is the Hourglass Translucent Veil. That one is more of a natural setting powder or a natural finish setting powder. And then the Lori Mercier translucent powder is a natural finish setting powder i feel like if you want to go with a different out go a different route outside of using the huda beauty because it is a mattifying setting powder i feel like either one of those either one of those three you use you probably will have good results now since we're talking about the brush do you really need this brush to apply the foundation and to be completely honest you do not. I use my piece of puff for pretty much everything. It goes either way. Like if you buy the set and they're giving you the brush for free, kind of like what I did, I went ahead and bought the set. I believe all three pieces was like $88. If I would have bought them individually, I believe it would have been like $105. So I got this for $88, the whole set for $88. $88. And then I got the brush for free because I bought the set together. In that case, why not get the brush? But if you're going to Sephora and you're buying it separately, maybe you're just buying these two because you already have the Easy Bake setting powder. Honey, baby, just use a piece of puff. It's going to work just fine. And I love the way my foundation set. It doesn't matter what type of foundation I use. When I you. When I use my piece of puff to apply my foundation, it comes out so beautiful, so flawless, so blur light filter anyway. So like, unless you really just want the brush, I would say don't worry about getting the brush. You don't really need it. As for this foundation, it is a light coverage foundation, but it is buildable to medium. Like if you're someone that's not really into makeup or you're a beginner, but you just wanna start somewhere or add a little extra, or a little off to yourself this set is a really good set for you now don't get me wrong don't be expecting to be walking the red carpets using this set i wouldn't say that it's that good but i do feel like it is a really good foundation for like an everyday day-to-day -day, you know going to work going to school type thing because it's very easy effortless and it looks really good and the last little bit that i do want to mention is something that i noticed is that when it comes to pictures cameras zoom calls anything of that nature this really makes your skin look good it really makes your skin look good so take that for what you want but overall would i buy this again would i buy this set again i would I really would. I don't know if I would buy the setting powder again, but I know for sure I will buy this set together. If you purchased a new Huda Beauty Blur set, let me know down below what you think about it. And if you haven't purchased it yet, let me know down below if you're interested in getting it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and remember you're made for more. See you next time. Bye.